us. He's a smart lemur. How you doing, buddy? Zabu found a spring here. <laughs> Look at them go. Whoa, Zabu's jumping around just like the spring hare. Yeah, but Zabu likes jumping in the trees, and the spring hare likes jumping on the ground. Leaping lemurs and springing spring hares. Zabu has a jumping buddy. Sabu loves leaping and jumping. He also loves his snack. I'll go get one. Let's see what we have for Zabu today. Hey, Zabu, look what I have. He's gonna love these. Zabu, I found some garbanzo beans. Zabu loves garbanzo beans. Look, the spring here's snacking too. Give me some of the food! <laughs> Hi there. I've been jumping with Spring here. Manga Tsika. Yeah. Jumping and leaping at the same time. <laughs> Bye, Spring here. Hey, I saw a creature who was jumping when I was coming here. He jumped a lot. A lot! A jumping creature? Mm -hmm. Great. How much did he jump? A lot, Chris. A lot. Who could it be? This animal <laughs> who I did see Can you help me guess this mystery? He had super long ears and huge feet, too. His feet were about as long as I am. He had long ears and a tail. <laughs> who could it be? This animal who I did see He could really jump. And I know a good jumper when I see one. Who could be this animal who I did see? Can you help me guess this mystery? A long-eared, big-tailed jumper. Do you know who he is? Big bouncy feet. Big long tail. Do you know who it is? I think it might be a kangaroo. That's right. So where is the kangaroo? Maybe he's behind us. Hmm? Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. A kangaroo! <laughs> Mangasika, the mystery animal's here! <laughs> hey, kangaroo, how do you do? 
Wow, he's incredible. And he's so tall. I bet he's as tall as my tallest jump. Red kangaroos are the largest kangaroos in the entire kangaroo family. And male red kangaroos are so big, they're sometimes called big reds. What about female red kangaroos? Well, they're not even red, Sob. They're usually bluish gray. A female red kangaroo is called a blue flyer because they jump around so fast, it's like they're flying. Oh, I get it. And his fur really is red. Now I know why he's called a big... Whoa! Oof. Oh, I'm cold! Oh. Oh, I'm okay. Uh, uh. Oh, help quick! Whee! Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> 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 big Red Martin. What do you think of that, Big Red? <laughs> red Martin, Red Martin, he's big and red like a kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at this. I can't believe how huge a kangaroo's feet are. If we had feet like that, they'd be this big. A kangaroo uses his feet to jump. But they sure aren't easy to walk in. Whoa! Hey, I think there's a frog on my head. It's a marine toad. Wow, what pretty eyelashes you have. Kangaroos have long eyelashes to keep the sand and dust out of their eyes. That's because red kangaroos live on dry, sandy grasslands and in deserts in Australia. And it gets pretty dusty there, so that's why they have those eyelashes. Guys, check this out. What a tail. Yeah, a kangaroo tail is full of muscle. His tail is so strong, he uses it to stand on when he's fighting another kangaroo. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, male kangaroos fight for female kangaroos. Wow. But the main thing about a kangaroo's tail is that it's used like an extra leg. A kangaroo rests on her tail every time she puts her back legs forward. Mangatsika, he does. I see it. And a kangaroo tail is as long as I am. Yeah. And I bet a kangaroo could jump as far as ten zabus. I bet you're right. In fact, they can jump over 20 feet in a single bound. That's like jumping over ten zabus. <laughs> huh? Hey, wait a minute. Hey. Hey, guys, when I saw him in the forest, he was jumping a lot. He was really jumping. But he's not jumping now. Yeah, he hasn't jumped the whole time he's been here. How come? I bet I can figure this out. I know I can. Hmm. Now, why would a kangaroo not be jumping? I know I can figure this out. I know I can. Hmm. Think, 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 think. Why the kangaroo isn't jumping? Big Red is too tired to jump. He must be on a long, long trip. See, kangaroos go on long journeys to find food and water, and they've been known to travel over 300 miles to find it. Huh, that's a lot of jumping. I'm tired to think about it. <laughs> now I can really understand why the kangaroo needed a rest. One time, I needed a rest in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leaping along. Leap, leap, leap. When I started to get tired, oh, I needed a rest. Then Slimantha slid over. <laughs> and wanted to play. <laughs> Let's play, Shabu. Let's play Squirrel out of the Hog. Yeah. <laughs> and after I played with Slimantha, baby Zabumafuasaurus wanted me to chase him, grab onto his tail. Hey, come on, Zabu. Catch me. Yeah, catch me. Aha. Uh -huh. I got you! Uh, uh, 
I'll see if you can hang on. Uh, 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 I think uh, I can hang uh, on. Uh, Oof. Then I flew off and landed in a goobleberry goo puddle. Green Puppy was there, and she wanted to play, too. Oh, hi, Green Puppy. <laughs> Babu, let's have a Goobleberry Goose blast fight. Okay. <laughs> so I splashed her. And she splashed me back. <laughs> but all this playing made me really, really tired. Oh, tired like Big Red. So I sat down and fell asleep. Babu, wake up. Babu, the end. So, guys, we have to help Big Red get his energy back. So he can get back on his trip. Great idea, Zob. Maybe he's hungry. What do you think? Oh. Hungry and thirsty. You can say that again. Hungry and thirsty. <laughs> I'll feed him. I'll feed him. <laughs> now, which one is it, huh? Is it this one? No. That's frog. How about this one? No, that's ring-tailed cat. <laughs> How about these two? Uh, no, that's Chris and Martin. <laughs> ah, uh-huh, uh-huh. I think so, too. Kangaroo! <laughs> hey, how come nothing's happening? Hello? Where's the grass? Where's the grass? Hello? Hello? Trees? Martin? The snack machine's broken again! Hello? 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 <laughs> <sighs> oh, come and get it. <sighs> it's fixed. <sighs> Let's all have a snack. I'll push the buttons. Spaghetti. Pizza! <laughs> oh, is that Goobleberry pizza? <laughs> Chris, what's that weird stick you're holding? <laughs> it's not a stick, Zob. It's a fork. What's a fork? You eat with it. Hmm? Can I try? Sure. Here. I'm gonna try eating with this thing. Hmm. Fork. Hmm. Fork. What a funny stick. After my snack, I like to finish with an apple. So does the kangaroo. That'll give you energy. The kangaroo needs to get his strength back. So with a little food, a little rest, he'll be able to get back on his trip. Uh, Chris, Martin, look. Big Red's licking a rock. Why is he doing that? These rocks have salts and minerals on them that'll help give our kangaroo energy for his trip and it'll keep those muscles firing. A kangaroo gets minerals from rocks, and human kids get them from vitamin pills your parents give you. Eat your vitamins, Big Red. They'll make you strong. And now Big Red's drinking. That'll help get his energy back, too. Yep, I was right. He is hungry and thirsty. Really thirsty. What is good for you? I love it. I think this will work. Whoa! Manga Zika! Oh yeah, it's Big Red. He's got his strength back. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> yes! Big Red is back! Big Red is back! No! Big Red has his energy back. He can keep going on his long, long trip. I can't believe my mind. <laughs> he's jumping, he's jumping! Let's jump with him. Come on! Come on, everybody. Let's jump like kangaroos. Keep your feet together. You can do it! I feel kangarooish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel kangarooish. How about you, kangarooish? Feeling kangarooish. Kanga, kanga, kangarooish. I'm a giant red jumper. I'm a kangaroo. Kangarooish! No wonder he was tired. I'm pooped. Hey guys, he's ready to go. He's ready to continue his long journey. See you, Big Red. Let's jump again soon. Happy jumping! Happy jumping! 
Hey, guys, a baby kangaroo. Look, the kangaroos forgot their baby. That's not a baby kangaroo. This is a wallaby. I want to be a wallaby. I want to be a wallaby. What's a wallaby? Wallabies are creatures who are in the same family as kangaroos. They live in Australia, same as kangaroos, and they eat the same thing. But wallabies are smaller than kangaroos. See, that's a wallaby in the back and a kangaroo in the front. Oh, now I get it. Now this wallaby's still a baby, but she's gonna grow up to be a lot bigger. How tall do you think she'll get, Martin? Well, let's see. How tall are you when you stand up? Yeah, she's about that tall. When she's full grown, she'll be about that tall. And that's taller than you are, Zob. And one day, you might even see her with a baby in her pouch. Baby wallabies grow up in their mother's pouches, just like baby kangaroos do. A pouch is like a pocket. Well, can she stay in there forever? Well, a baby kangaroo can stay in there for a really long time. But after a while, he gets pretty big and starts exploring more and more. He starts to play with other baby kangaroos. Oh, well, yeah, just like I play with other baby lemurs. That's right, Zob. But you know what? A baby kangaroo always goes back to mom's pouch until he's about eight months old and ready to be on his own. Hey, look at this. The wallaby found a pouch. Time for a nap. And here comes a great flyer. Incoming falcon, duck! Woo, that was a close one. Oh, sticky feet, the peregrine falcon's here with a message from Jackie. I'm weeding my garden. I started it last spring. But do you think I did it because I love carrots? I don't think so. I did it for my friends who love vegetables more than anyone. This garden isn't for me. It's for Hip and Hop, my two pet rabbits. Wild rabbits can visit Hip and Hop's garden too. I think it's really great that I can make a garden just for rabbits. Rabbits love their vegetables. And a vegetable garden's easy. See you later. Jackie's great. Munga Tsika, look at Sticky Feet. He's jumping. Can you believe that? Wow. I've got an idea. Chris, Martin, uh, you guys should check out more jumpers, huh? To the closet! They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. They're going to the closet to grab their stuff and split. Wow. Neat, eh? <laughs> Ooh, looks fine. Uh-oh. Ah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Hey, then let's be careful out there. Okay, Zob. We'll see you later. Bye, guys. Come on, let's do some jumping. Me first. <laughs> hey, you're pretty good. This way, Martin. Right behind you, Chris. We're heading out to find some amazing jumpers. Chris, overhead, a hawk. Cool. Oh, no. Jump! Yikes! <laughs> well, we can't jump over the pond with our bikes. I know. But this pond is hopping with great jumpers. Come on. Frogs. Frogs are incredible jumpers. Jumping is a great way for a frog to escape danger. If a predator, I'm the predator, tries to catch a frog, he jumps. Oh. In the water. But he's got to be careful, because if he jumps too far from shore, a fish, I'm the fish, will try to eat him. Back to shore! Oh. That way, a big fish can't get him, and he's fooled any predator on shore. It can be tough being a frog, so be nice to them. When you pick up a frog, hold him down here. Don't hold him up here. 
Hold him down here, so that when he jumps off, he doesn't have far to fall. You know, frogs might be the best jumpers in the whole pond. Come on, bro, let's jump like frogs. Woohoo! Whoa, did you see that trout jump? He leapt right out of the water to catch that mayfly. Sometimes trout jump for their food. The mayfly comes down to the water, and bang, the trout goes for it. Trout might be the best jumpers in the whole pond. I don't know, Chris. Trout can jump high. Frogs can jump far. So let's jump like trout, then like frogs, and we'll see who's the better jumper. All right. Come on, jumping creatures. Woo! Jump like a fish. Jump like a frog! Ribbit! Ribbit! Frogs and trout are, are both great, great jumpers. jumpers. Frogs jump far to get away from predators. And trout jump high to grab insects. And crap brothers jump on their bikes <laughs> to get back to Animal Junction. All right, let's go! Hey, Mark, Zabu would want to meet those jumpers. Yeah, and I wonder what that leaping lemur is up to now. <laughs> hey, hey, Somebody's in there with Sabu. Can you catch this? You want to find uh, out who? You're a great Come jumper. on. Hey, ready? Here we go. <laughs> I don't believe Whoa, it. Whoa, hey, guys. Check this out. Hey, Jumpy, grab this. Whoa, that's a quick-turning jumper. Yeah, she can jump up from when she's practically lying down. It's a caracal. Yeah, yeah, caracal. <laughs> she's my new pal. I call her Jumpy. That's a great name, Zob, because a caracal can jump so high, she can catch a bird right out of the sky. Yeah, she's one of the best jumpers in the cat family. Just like I'm the best jumper in the lemur family. And it's just like I am best jumper in the crab family. I'm the best jumper. I am. No, I'm the best. What's gonna happen no, next? I am. I am. Whoa! Oh! oh. <laughs> Did you see that, Jumpy? <laughs> <laughs> Those Krat brothers had the greatest landings. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, Sob. No, <laughs> oh, they need to learn jumping from Jumpy. No. <laughs> oh. Hey, Chris, bring in that toy. She wants to play. Here you go, Jumpy. <laughs> <laughs> you are seeing all the great moves of a caracal. With those quick hands, a caracal can catch anything. A caracal is a much better jumper than either of us. But guys, she doesn't catch wallabies. So, Zabu, what does a caracal do with a wallaby? They play. Only an animal junction. And yeah, nobody catches anything here in Animal Junction. Except maybe a cold. <laughs> wow, what a sneeze! <laughs> that reminds me of the time we were jumping together in Zabu Land. <laughs> I was leap leaping along, leap, leap, and I was having so much fun that I wanted everybody to jump around with me. Wow. Hello, Google, I said. Hello, Noggin Drill. Oh. <laughs> Hello, Zabu. Hello, Zabu. Let's jump around. Oh, jumping. Oh, I'm a great jumper. I can catch a lot of air. Watch, watch. Oh, 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 oh. oh and I love jumping too. Watch this. Noggin Drill jumped up, but he didn't come back down. Hey, get me down. My lid's stuck in this tree. I'm coming, Noggy. Oh, oh, thanks, Zabumafuasaurus. No problem. Well, why don't you hop on and we'll jump around together? And that's what we did. So did you like my hang time? <laughs> the end. Hey look, the caracal and the wallaby are jumping off together. Bye, jumpers. You know what I really liked about today? Every creature has their own way of jumping. 
My favorite part was when we jumped like a caracal, up and down, twists and turns. I like when we were jumping like the kangaroo. Remember, keep both feet together. My favorite part was when we jumped into the water like frogs. This animal is a friend of mine. From the tip of his nose to his spine and behind. All the friends we met today are special in their own way. We've all got different names, but we're really all the same. Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you Do you know who we forgot to jump like? Who? Zabu! Leaping lemurs! Let's get jumping! Yeah! Thanks, Martin! Happy jumping! Happy jumping! Hi, I'm Taylor and this is my dog, Farley. Yeah.